The Japan U20 match was one of the best matches we've gotten in the series that really leveled up and created that turning point in the series for most fans that get to this arc giving us some of the craziest goals that we've seen up until that point in the story with some goals just being pure hype and others just being insane leaving us in awe and in today's video we're going to be going over all of them hey guys dark girl josh here and today in this video as i just said we are going to be ranking every goal in the japan u20 match obviously starting from the bottom and working our way up the list to the number one goal in my opinion of course so without further ado let's get straight into this video starting off at number seven the goal that i'm going to start with has to be shido's dragon drive yes i know as a shido fan i am disappointed in myself it hurts my soul putting one of his goals at the end of this list now around this point in the match as the match just entered its second half with shido coming in and all he then gets fouled by Nico giving him the free kick. Now, although this play was pretty cool from Shido and Itoshi Sai tricking almost everyone on blue lock. And to take it a step further, Itoshi Sai pretty much baited the hell out of Chigiri. But I'm not going to lie to you, the buildup wasn't really there due to it. Of course, I'm not trying to discredit his goal and everything, but he just came into this match and he started wreaking havoc. This is a good thing, but in terms of buildup, I mean, there was none prior, but it was still cool nonetheless. I mean, we know Shido is a crazy goal junkie, so seeing this from him wasn't really outside of his abilities as a striker, so that's why I'm saying there wasn't really any buildup, and that's why it's all the way down at this list. It was already a given. If he didn't score this goal, it would have been kind of bad for him. Coming in at number 6, I'm going to put Itoshi Sai's line drive shot goal. Now, this goal was actually the opening goal scored in the first 7 minutes of the match. Being that Itoshi Sai has been this star player that plays for Laurel, that has been hyped up for so long ever since the start of the series, just building up his character every single time that he's been mentioned, finally seeing him in action firsthand was definitely a sight to see throughout this match. Now, of course, as a midfielder, he isn't really expected to score any goals himself, but after the forwards of the former Japan U20 like Sendo sold in front of the goal with Gagamaru saving his shot with ease, he ends up getting frustrated and decides to get the job done himself. The difficulty of this goal is definitely up there, one of the hardest on this list if I do say so myself, if not just the hardest for just anyone to recreate. I mean his brother Rin tried to recreate it and he was the best player in blue lock and he couldn't even make it, but I mean it was his less dominant foot. But Anyways, just the angle Sai was in, Gagamaru pretty much dropped his guard, being that he didn't think he'd be able to make a good pass to his team from that angle, let alone make a shot. This goal was a great opening goal that gave us a little taste of what Itoshi Sai's capabilities were, with his amazing kicking technique. At number 5, we have Itoshi Rin's Travella shot. This shot was definitely hype and managed to put Blue Lock in the lead in the first half of the match. Off of the pass that Chigiri sent and Sai blocked, as Rin managed to get that second ball, Aiku was on him like no tomorrow in an instant, leaving Rin's left side wide open for him to shoot with, mainly prioritizing blocking his right side being that he figured out that his right foot was his most dominant one. Even with Aiku being the best defender we've seen up until that point in the series, and even one of the best players to be showcased in that match, mind you, he wasn't even able to stop the shot from the genius's little brother as he tricked Aiku into thinking that he was going to shoot with his left, just to hit a crazy Travella with his right foot and make a beautiful goal that went straight into top bins. Being that this goal was to represent that Rin was giving his all in this match was also kind of nice to see, being that it's just a different side we haven't really seen before, but yeah. In the number 4 spot, I'm gonna have to give it to Nagi's whatchamacallit shot. Now, I don't even know how to even describe this shot, or if it's even humanly recreatively possible, but even as much as I do be clenning on Nagi, yes, I am aware of it, him making this shot was actually pretty hype, especially when it seemed like the blue lock 11 was in a really big pinch. As this goal was created from Rin's whole play trying to imitate his older brother's shot, we see it created many opportunities that the Blue Lock 11 practiced for prior for the wingers like Ikimiya and Otoya to score. But as the U20 was still able to shut those opportunities down, we see that Nagi gets the second ball 
and with the two people on him he deceives them by bringing them in with a trap hit a tap lift does a crazy spin move in mid air and shoots the ball all in the same motion to equalize the game one to one now some people might see it as corny but i also think that the line he hit introducing himself to japan while making this shot was kind of cold too i can't even lie hey i mean that goal started to convert some of the japan u20 fans to blue lock so i don't even know what to tell you overall this goal was pretty cool creative wise and was one of the most hyped goals on this list just overall very flashy goal now entering the top three for this ranking at number three we have isagi's luck goal i think a lot of people would have had this goal a little bit higher on their list either as number one or number two and that's understandable i still remember how hype i was first reading chapter 157 when it first came out and it was just no talking in all action with Isagi getting this goal to end off the chapter as well as the match. This goal definitely holds that special place in most Blue Lock fans hearts. It's also going to be one of the most iconic goals by the end of the series if it isn't already but just Isagi swooping in behind Aiku's blind spot and completing the challenge that he set up for himself at the start of the match adapting to the complete chaos that Itoshi Rin ensued onto the field and reacting to it faster than anyone else on the pitch could as he forcefully inserts himself into the equation even drawing luck to his side scoring a beautiful direct shot that flew right into the goal with the whole stadium going wild yes i know it was just a regular old volley that isagi does literally every match but i mean taking into account the stakes and the overall build up and all that it would just made the goal that much more hype coming in at the number two spot might be one of the best equalizers we've seen from the series and the most hype we got Baro Shoei's sliding shot. Now, throughout the story of Blue Lock, we've seen Baro make some insane equalizing goals in dire moments of the team. And in this match, it was no different. Being Blue Lock's Joker slash last trump card against Shido, who quickly turned the tides of the game with the help of Sai, we see Baro put the field into complete chaos. And later, while this chaos is happening, with Isagi managing to give Rin a pass while Sai is on him, and with Aiku and Rin neck and neck to get the ball, we see the king with both defenders of the Iron Wall, Darai Miroku, and Neo Kazuma failing to contain him as he charges through. And with him even being brought down to one knee, he still pulls the shot off as it hits the top left corner making the crowd go absolutely ballistic and most importantly reigniting the fire under the blue lock 11 team to keep fighting until the very last second of the match this goal honestly has so many levels to it like i'm pretty sure everyone has it at least in their top three goals in this match you could really hear what's going on in this panel alone like that's how hype it is to cut it shortly, this goal had a little bit of everything that most people look for in a goal to say the least. Now most of you probably saw this coming if you've been on the channel long enough, knowing one of my favorite characters, but yes, at the number one spot we have Flo Shido's Big Bang Drive. This really wouldn't be a Dark Hero Josh video if there wasn't some slight glaze on my boy, but wow. This goal was just otherworldly and that's even putting it lightly for me. A player like Shido who's already known for making the impossible possible, being an insane goal junkie, scoring some of the coolest and creative goals we've seen in the series. Now, seeing him breaking his own limitations, entering the flow state, from scoring crazy goals in the box to making a bicycle kick from pretty much the kickoff point of the field. Now I know this goal was inspired by his Latin's goal against Switzerland, but man, this goal was just breathtaking. Just like Barrow's goal, this goal was insanely hype, being the first person in this match a part of Blue Lock to enter the flow state. This goal was something we haven't seen before to this degree, not only with Shido, but any other character in the series. Along with that, I do think this goal is one of the best looking goals in this match, along with Barrow's goal. Again, just adding on to the fact that you can really feel the intensity and hype of the goals. Shido was one of the most unserious players in Blue Lock, but it was also kind of nice to see a little more down to earth, honest, and a little bit serious version of him before he went on to score this goal, you know?
speaking about what his ideology of football is and all that. I have a video talking about all that if you guys do want to check it out, but I'm also kind of contemplating on recreating that video soon, so if you don't want to search for it, just stay tuned on the channel. But yeah, that's that. These are all my rankings for the goals in the Japan U20 match from 7 to 1. This was a pretty tough list, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, all of these goals were just crazy good to me. Not only in skill and creativity, but just nostalgic wise. But I do hope that some of you guys think that this list is valid. If you guys do agree with the ranks and the video, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below what other things Blue Lock you guys want to see on the channel next. Make sure to also follow the Twitter and join the Discord to really be a part of this community that we're building. And without further ado, I hope you guys do have a great day, and see ya.